Milwaukee's art scene is carving out a new platform. It all began when two women realized the lack of representation of Latina artists in the area. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez brings you the story of Luna. I have a fascination with sometimes it's hard to know nature and flowers when your work of art is complete. But for some, finding the courage to pick up the paintbrush is difficult. I moved here in 2016. It's how a newcomer I met Gabby noticed um, something in Milwaukee's from. canvas was missing. Not being from here, I kind of turned to Gabby and was like, are there just are you and I the only Latina artist? Katie Avila Lock Miller says she was working on a project and realized there was a lack of representation of Latina artists in the region. Soon her burning question carved a new group for the city's art scene. What if we just got everybody together and kind of created like a support group and like a platform for ourselves. Together with Gabriela Riveros, they've launched Latinas Unidas en las Artes, or Luna. I literally was like, name all the Latina artists you know, and we had like a list of 20 just from like her brain. I just picked this up like three weeks ago. <laughs> the group quickly grew, recruiting Latina artists who were craving for a support system to practice their talents. They definitely like helped me gain that confidence in myself. I would do art for myself, but like I wouldn't show anybody. Dissolving the shadows of doubt. We have like abstract painters, we have illustrators like myself, photographers, um, sculptors. Luna now consists of nearly three dozen artists. It was an amazing experience because I got to be more active in my creativity. But it's more than just an artistic platform. I was born and raised here and my family's from Asuncion, Paraguay. There's a shared desire from each member to connect with their cultural roots. Riveros, for example, is from Paraguay, a country in South America near Argentina and Brazil. People are always like, are you Mexican or Puerto Rican? And I'm like, neither. While Avila Lockmiller is from Colombia. So I'm adopted from Colombia, so my whole life has been like trying to figure out like what is my culture and how do I get connected with my culture. Which is why the group is tackling social issues new generations of Latinos are facing. Even with like in the community, but also just like at large, there's like, oh, are you Latina enough? You know, you know, like for you know for myself like I'm not fluent in Spanish and I and I didn't even grow up with the culture but like does that make me less Latina should I just like hide that part of myself no I want to celebrate it that celebration can be seen through their art shows it's never too late to find and celebrate your culture their latest show is called hoops on display at the urban ecology center through November the show centers around the significance of hoop earrings for Latinas a lot of us wear them almost like a uniform we were all agreeing that there's a lot of power in hoop earrings and we're like, what if we did a show about them? So I think that's how that plan hatched. As their presence continues to grow, so has the public's support for the group's individual art. I think like the, the energy that we're creating here is something that is needed both like within the art world but at the, the larger community. Proving with each brush stroke. It's a matter of unity and it's also a matter of, yeah, just like carving out our own space. They're creating a true masterpiece. Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Luna has also been selected into the pop-up Milwaukee program. They will have a temporary space on Cesar Chavez Drive in Milwaukee's south side starting October 9th. We have more information on fox6now.com as well as where you can check out the Hoops show. It's amazing because it's such a new group. And look at how much they've already done. They do beautiful work, that's for sure. Well, a young woman